What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are trying out a cool little combo on the Regulation D ladder. A nice camera up team combo for Regulation D. Should be fun one. Ultimately, this combo consists of Ndidi and Oranguru being a lead, Ndidi going for the follow me, Oranguru setting up that trip. Since Ndidi has the eject button, it's going to take the hits, eject out, and bring out camera up. Camera up will then use room service because Oranguru is going to pop trick room. And then on top of that, with the symbiosis with Oranguru's ability, he's going to then pass the choice specs on the camera up, who's going to be able to thrive in trick room. So, really cool combo. Trying to showcase it off. I never really see camera up on the rank ladder, so should be a fun one. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by Olivia Samba, so huge shout out to their channel. We'll be linking it down in the description below. So if you guys want the Poke Pace or want to see this team more in depth, like I said, head down to the link in the description below. But Ndidi is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. Ndidi's rocking the Psychic Surge alongside with the Eject button with Follow Me. Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, and Trick Room. We got Iron Hands as our second Pokemon, and this Pokemon is great inside the Trick Room and outside the Trick Room. It's got Fake Out, Wild Charge, Close Combat, and Volt Switch with Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest as its item. Camera Up, the star of the show, is in our third slot with Solid Rock as its ability and Rock and Room Service as its item. It's got Eruption, Overheat, Heat Wave, and Earth Power. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane. That's all I have to say. This Fluttermane is pretty normal setup, stats are pretty normal. Move sets normal, items normal. There's not much to talk about. You guys seen it plenty of times before. In our fifth slot, we're rocking out with Iranguru with Symbiosis as its ability, with the choice specs as its item. It's got Terra Blast, Encore, Instruct, and Trick Room. In our final slot, we're rocking out with another Trick Room setter. It is going to be Cresselia with Levitate and the Safety Goggles as its item. It's got Psychic, Lunar Blessing, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this off meta camera up regulation D team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Alolan Raichu team. They got Thunderous alongside with Alolan Raichu, and then Cresselia, Brute Bonnet, Iron Bundle, and Iron Hands. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like leading the combo. Indeedy, Oranguru, and then camera up in the back end. I feel like we could set it up here. We have the Psychic Surge, so Fake Outs can't be out and about. I actually really do like that. So I'm going to go into both of them, and I'm also going to bring Iron Hands as a back end Pokemon. going to be really good, especially because a lot of these Pokemon are slow, besides Iron Bundle and Alolan Raichu. So I feel as just going full blown Trick Room with this squad could really get us cooking. But I'm really hoping to just pull off this combo, have camera up, get some work done. So I would love to bring it out with the Oranguru, Trick Room all set up, potentially Terrasalize, camera up in the fire, and then just Eruption or Heat Wave and just instruct it so it just keeps sending moves. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to be really cool if we can pull it off. But Thunderous and... Ah, uh, this is tough. I was going to say Thunderous and Iron Hands come out here. So the thing is, the thing is, I'm guessing this Thunderous potentially has electric surge right so can it swap the terrain can it swap the terrain before my follow me comes out here and then he can fake me out maybe but i don't think so because i think follow me would come out here before electric terrain does so i think we should be fine so i'm gonna go into the follow me i am just gonna pop the trick room and we're gonna cook him so there's a nice lovely follow me let's see what they end up doing we shall see electric terrain does come out here so i am correct can you now fake out my Oranguru, or is that fake out? That fake out should be following me, right? If you're going to do it. I'm not even sure if they're going to do it. I don't think they are. Because it would come out beforehand. But Thunder Punch is going to fly. That's fine. Indeed, he's able to soak. The combo is now pretty set up. As I eject button out, I get to bring out camera up, which is lovely. I am now going to set the Trick Room, which is even better. My room service is going to pop, slowing me down, but basically making me faster within the trick room. And then Symbiosis ability is going to pass the choice specs on over to my camel. Is it a camel? Is it a camel? What is that? Because it doesn't... Kind of a camel, right? Camera up. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. But from here, we are now choice spec I believe. If I just go into my Pokemon, I can see it is holding the choice specs. And... I think from here we just terrestrialize fire. We get after it. 
I want to see your stats real quick. What's your special attack stat? 172 with choice spec. Oh, yeah. This, this is it's about to get crazy. We're going to tear it into fire. We're going to erupt. And on top of that, we are going to instruct the camera to do it twice. We're not playing around. We simply are not playing around with this. Camera. I saw this team and I was like, I got to give it a try. I have to give it a try. I love camera. Ever since Gen 3. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Especially Numble. Numel, Numble, however you pronounce it. Love that little Pokemon. Love that little thing. But from here, we are erupting. We're not playing around. These guys are probably like, hey, yo, yeah, I can soak up an eruption. Yeah, that's cool. You can soak up one eruption, but I highly doubt you're soaking up two eruptions, correct? Please show me your Rangaroo is slower than Iron Hands here. I am. And then we're just instructing, and we're going to be like, hey, camera, you want to do me a favor? Do that again. Do that again. Bye-bye, Iron Hands. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. Camera coming in hot here in match number one. And it's so cool to use this Pokemon because a lot of people are not expecting this combo. They just don't really know what Camera is doing because I've never seen it on the rank ladder. I highly doubt people in the Master Tier have seen it on the rank ladder. But Cresselia now comes out here. Um, smart play would probably be like Protect and ooh, I don't know. I don't really know what they could do here. This match is pretty much wraps, right? They can't fake me out. I think best bet would be... Oh, do you have... Oh, what do you have? Electric Seeds. That does nothing. Torch Drive's gonna boost here. Best bet would be, like, protect Iron Bundle and hope that Crest can eat up two eruptions. And then from there, potentially just try to pop a trigger and cancel it. But I think we're fine. We're just gonna go into an Instruct into Eruption again and see how this one plays out. Camera is not playing around, man. The Eruption comes out here. And yeah, that's game all day. That's game all day, yo. Camera picking up four KOs. Gonna be able to sweep, no problem. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's way too easy. I knew this combo was going to be ridiculously strong if we pulled it off. And I pulled it off first recording. Which is awesome. First battle we got on recording. Killing it. Killing it. Camera up. Sweeping the team. Let's go. 1-0 to get things started here. Hopping into our second match. And that first match was incredible. Camera up. Sweeping a team. Love this combo so much, and I kind of want to go for it again. I'm not even gonna lie. Indeedy, a rag group. Let's do it. Let's try to pull it off again. Indeedy, a rag group for the lead. Camera up in the back end, and we will go same squad. We are gonna go Iron Hands as the final Pokemon. We're hoping, we're really hoping that uh, they don't lead Fluttermane, because if they lead Fluttermane, it leads me to believe that's Imprisoned Trick Room Fluttermane, right? That could be annoying. That could, that could, that could totally ruin everything. If they imprison Trick Room, turn one, we lose this match. But you know what? I'm not no coward. I'm not going to back down. We, we win in this match. Unless they imprison. Because <laughs> like I said, if they imprison, we are. It's wraps. We're done. We're done. So show me no Fluttermane here. Shen Pao Robin. We love it. Rancy Surge should come out here first, which we will adore. So they can't fake me out. And from here, uh, do we terrestrialize potentially? A Rangaroo? No, we're just going to follow me. We are just going to follow me. Let's I believe this Shen Pao is not Rocket Crunch. It's probably Rocket Sucker Punch or something like that. So I'm just going to go follow me. I am also going to go for just the Trick Room. I want to save our Terra. And the reason I want to save our Terra so bad is because I want it for camera. I really want it for camera. So we'll see what they want to do. Here. Nice and lovely follow me comes out here. We're not playing games here. And Shen Pao is going to go for an Icicle Crash, which we soak. Yeah, we soak. And now we swap out. We shall swap. I am scared of sucker punches. Actually, they can't sucker punch. That's dude. This combo is so good because it starts canceling out a bunch of things. It starts canceling out so much. Like they can't use first turn priority moves. They can follow me. We can just block shots. It's just so big. And he has a U turn it into my rank. That's fine. That is fine because now I get to simply terrestrialize. Do I terrestrialize my camera up here? No, I'm definitely gonna terrestrialize it. But do I go into an eruption? Or Urshi Urshi is going to come out here. Maybe, just maybe. I think I Terra Heat Wave. I think I'm just going to Terra Heat Wave. The reason I want to Heat Wave is because they might swap Shen Pao or something. They might swap Shen Pao and bring out the Grassy Terrain here. 
just so Urshfu can get some first turn priority. Plus, I heat, think Heat Wave can already do enough damage. And on top of that, we're going to instruct some more. So, I like it. So, we end up withdrawing Shep out. You going to you sacrifice your Rilla Rilla? That's fine. That's fine. So, we Terrastalize. Normally, water moves are four times super effective to us. But since we're Terrastalized, it's only going to be two. And on top of that, we have the Solid Rock ability. And that actually uh, makes us take less damage from super effective moves. I think it's like minus 25%. So if you want to go into the uh, Aqua Jet, that's fine. We could definitely soak it up. And that's exactly why I Terrastalized into or uh, Choice into Heat Wave. That was a good call for us. A very, very good call for us. And he's going to Terrastalize as well. You go in water? I don't I don't think you can KO me with Heat Wave. I really don't. Or not Heat Wave and Aqua Jet. Even if you're Water Terror, I don't, I simply don't think you can, you can KO me with that. Hammer Up's pretty bulky. Plus you don't have Shen to you. And maybe, just maybe two Heat Waves can actually KO that. So there's the Aqua Jet. I think we're fine. I believe we're fine. Let's go. Good thing we choice in the Heat Wave. I'm missing somebody. Rillaboom dodged it. They both dodged it. What do you mean? Yo, my Heat Waves are awful. They are terrible. They are terrible. Is Rillaboom sashed or just lived on one? It lives on... Mind blown. Exploded. Free focus sashes and I'm missing heat waves. Come on with that. Come on with that. So Aqua Jet is going to KO me. Um, actually, let's just go for another heat wave. And we can swap a Rangaroo into Indeedy. Oh, dude, that's so ugly. That's just so ugly. Maybe I should have just swapped him. Maybe I should have just swapped him last turn. Instead of instructing, but no, this is fine. It'd be fine. So Heat Wave is now going to fly. He's not going for the first turn. Wow, that hurts his soul. That hurts the soul. And if my inch, my first heat wave would land on Earth Street, that thing would be dead. So the good thing is we get rid of Robum and we get the surge for pretty much the rest of the game. That's big time. Surge strikes can come through here and I'm just going to finish off my camera. The camera ups a gone. Great call for him to not go into the Aqua Jet. Smart, smart little call. But from here, I still have a Ranguru. Um I have Iron Hands too, which Iron Hands can be a big play for us. Iron Hands can be your best buddy. So Iron Hands, get on out here. Iron Hands, come on down. We're gonna need you here. I got a few Pokemon the Pop Trick Rooms. Um, I could go in the Fake Out if I want to, and I might just Fake it out for Shen Pao. But I gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We do have two. But I would love to just get rid of Sash here, so I'm gonna get rid of Sash, and I'm just gonna go for a Dazzling Leaf. I like that. I like it. This one's actually going to be a close battle. Iron Hands could definitely clutch up. So he ends up just withdrawing Shen Pao. So Shen Pao gets to withdraw here. And you're going to go into Arcanine. So you're looking just to intimidate me for a little bit. Okay. I understand. I feel you. That's cool. I understand. So the tech comes out. Okay. The tech comes out. It's a fake out. I can't. What am I thinking? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I forget. I, I do that every once in a while. I forget my own terrain. But you know what? We're just going to Volt Switch here and Pivot. And we're just going to go for Dazzle Moon. This is tough because I don't think we can set up another Trick Room later. But I really want to Volt Switch Pivot for the KO. I see what they end up doing. Hmm. I'm upset at my heat waves. But Volt Switch comes through here. It is going to KO Urshfu this big time. And I swap back, getting my stats back to normal, which I love. Absolutely love. We're hoping, we're hoping that this Arcanine takes out my Indeedee. Because then from there, I could just go. From there, I could just go. Uh. A Rangaroo alongside with Iron Hands and try to pop another Trick Room and just get after it. The Flame's gonna fly first and it's gonna do about six and a half damage. 
And he's gonna end up flare blitzing this slot. Okay, so that's gonna take out a Rangaroo. Okay, I mean, that's fine. So Rangaroo's gone. I do have the lovely, the lovely little Indeedy. And Trick Room is gone. So I could just fake out Trick Room here, right? Best bet, right? Best bet. Fake out Trick Room. But the real question is. The real question is, maybe I just close combat this thing and read the Shen Pao Protect. Because Arcanine probably can KO my Indeed, which really sucks. It really does suck. So to be honest, I kind of just want to do this. And I kind of just want to follow me. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because if I pop a Trick Room and go for a Fake Out on Shen Pao, I think Arcanine just KOs this anyway. And see, he's attacking us there, so I get to soak up that shot. And he was just KOing us anyway, so even if I was faking him out, I think we were dead anyway. I think they were double targeting our DD. So, wow. That damage was absurd. I was not expecting it to do that much damage, and that pretty much just wraps up the game. I was not expecting it to do that much damage. But yeah, we were we were uh, we were losing this one either way. Once they double down into Indeedee, like I think they double down even without the follow me. Kind of just happened, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. We knew I knew I was gonna lose this one. But uh, second match gonna go to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. We almost pulled off the camera combo again. And what's the point of protecting? Oh, you want your first turn priority? Is that what you want it? Is that what you want it? You probably sashed anyway. There's just no point. You should just attack me. Yeah, you want you want you want your little first turn priority. You know, I'm just gonna run it. You're not gonna KO my iron hands. I'm out of here. One and one. Let's go hop into our third and final. Look for a winning record. We're hopping into our final match. And that last match, me and Heat Wave are still not getting along. We missed a nice little Heat Wave. I did make a bad play by going fake out in my own psychic train. What was I thinking? But we end up losing that one and we're hopping into our third and final match. But they do have rain here rain's gonna be a problem because i cannot change weather so i might not even want to bring camera up here in match number three i'm thinking of still popping trick room it definitely be big time for us but i gotta watch out for amoongus amoongus in trick room is a huge threat so maybe i just leave fluttermane iron hands how to get after it that way or do i go into more so like a rangaroo or like crest fluttermane i could go iron hands crest which wouldn't be bad i actually kind of like that because i do have a uh, grass terror type on iron hands I'm gonna do all that. I really don't want camera up here. I really do not want camera up. I mean, I can deal with it. I can deal with camera up. They're probably gonna set rain, but still, I have earth power. Earth power can do some nice damage onto the uh, belly bolt. So we'll see. I just wanted another attacker. I didn't want to bring in Indeedee or a Wrangler Pokemon that aren't really going to do any kind of crazy damage. So I, th I feel like we just needed something in the back end. But if they end up not bringing Pelper, that'd be awesome. And they're going to lead Pelper, so again, they have rain for pretty much five turns. So I get out this lead. Um, who do I fake out here? Who is the fake out Pelper? Probably, probably Pelper, right? Probably Pelper. Do I tear grass now? I definitely want to fake out Pelper. I'm not, I'm not going to tear yet. And I'm shooting the trick. Nice little fake out on the Paloops here. I think. Hopefully this thing's not rocking the cloak of coverts. I'm just gonna go for a season stage, which we uh, we should be able to eat. I was gonna say. It's gonna do a bunch of damage, but we should be able to eat. So he gets a couple spikes popping around. We get off the lovely little trick room. And from here, I can volt switch into Pelper and take him out if I want to. Could also moon our blessing, get off an extra turn. Um I could just wild charge into you if I want to. I have options. I have a lot of different options. I'm gonna go after Samurai here, and I'm just gonna Lunar Blessing. The reason I want a Lunar Blessing is because I can actually just uh, survive another turn if he wants to go for another Ceaseless Edge. It'd be pretty good. Plus, I think he's Thrasilized and Pelipper. That's why I kind of want the Wild Turn Samurai. And am I right? I am wrong. I should just full switch into Pelipper, finish that thing off, and we could be sick. Beautiful. My soul hurt. Can you protect Pelipper at least? Can you do a little protect on Pelipper? No, you don't. You just make a hard read on me. How dare you? So, still, nice chunk of damage. We are going to take some recoil. I'm going to get that recoil back. I'm going to Lunar Blessing up. It might just double down on my Iron Hands. A little bit of a problem. A tad bit of a problem here. Hurricane, yeah, you're doubling down into 
Leave him alone. Chill. Chill. I know you're going for sea snatch. Cool. So Lunar Blessing helps me soak up a little bit. Spikes are there. Spikes are stacking too. Spikes are stacking indeed. So I'm thinking of... I'm thinking I'm just full switching, to be honest. Seen if Psychic can KO, yeah, because I'm almost positive Bolt Switch can KO. It's four times super effective. Let's see how this one plays out. It does, cool. So we're going to Bolt Switch out. We're going to fake out from there. Uh, do I bring out the camera up here? Do I bring out the camera? I'm going bring out Fluttermane. I'm going to bring out the camera. I doubt you're attacking. Are you, do we think he's going for a water move? I'm bringing out camera up. I doubt you are attacking my camera up. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Spike's gonna hit me. Please do not attack my camera up slot. I'm room servicing him. Just take out my crest. Or crest, can you take him out actually? You might be able to. You don't. Can you take out my crest now? Cool. You are. That's fine. Alright, that works out cool. That works out cool. So now I can bring back our iron hands if need be. And I think I'm going to do that, try to waste out Trick Room turns and get some value out of it at the same time. Because if I can waste out the Trick Room, I got the Flutter Main just slowly chilling in the back end. My last Spikes, I think Spikes are up plus three. I'm going to do a little chunk of damage to me. A little chunk of damage. So I get to bring out the Iron Hands. We still have Cameron. And like I said, the lane was going to be a problem for him. But hopefully he brings out somebody that I can attack. And it's just a Moogus. I guess I'm still going for a Fire Move. Wow, yo, those Spikes chill! Those Spikes did a nice chunk of damage. Bit too much. Uh, from here, do I go for an overheat? I'm just gonna heat wave. I'm gonna heat wave and fake out a Moongus slot. This heat wave will actually KO. Uh, heat wave will KO the the Samurott. And I swear, I swear, if I miss this heat wave on Samurott, I'm gonna be very upset. Very upset. Super upset. Might have to ban Heat Wave. No, okay, cool. You don't have to. Cool. So we end up KOing. And from here, Trick Room Amoongus. Told you this would be a problem. Do I Terror the Iron Hands? Potentially, right? Really depends who they bring out here. I might Terror the Iron Hands. Urshifu. Yeah, we're gonna t we're gonna Terror the Iron Hands here. I'm gonna stick with the. I'm gonna go for overheat. If I can land it overheat, I love it. Because I think we only have one turn left in Trick Room. Which we do. One turn left in Rain. But I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna Terrasalize you. And I'm just gonna go for a Wild Charging Rush. I know they don't have Terra. That could work out pretty good. The nice little Grass Terra for us. Hopefully, Amoongus is sporing my Iron Hand slot. Rather than my Camera Up slot. I kinda. I don't know if I like where we're sitting. It's gonna be a close battle coming down to it. Let's see, Rage Powder comes out here. That works fine because my Iron Hands is going to be immune to Rage Powder. So we love it. Overheat's gonna pop here. In the rain, still doing a nice chunk of damage. And Wild Charge should be able to just get rid of the Urshfu, right? We say bye bye to you? You do. Beautiful. 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 And now Mugus is the last Pokemon. Trick Room is gone. We get cooking. That's gonna be game set match. Jeans going two and one with the camera up squad. We love it. Camera up in the rain too. Still doing some work, and our opponent turns off their console. We love it. That's still two and one winning record. It's always fun using off meta teams on the rank ladder. It's even more fun when we grab ourselves a winning record with it. Camera up was absolutely amazing, especially in match number one, pulling off the combo and just sweeping. Match number three, we went a little unorthodox outside of the box, using camera up and getting some work done with it. But there it is, two and one winning record. You guys gotta love it. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.